But what Digifabs aims to do is kind of take that knowledge of that high level person, uh, input it into our tool and, uh, and use that to create consistent um, automatic quoting, uh, quoting prices. Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now, if you've seen the Digifabster overview videos, you'll be interested to find out a little bit more about the features inside Digifabster. We're gonna find out about the onboarding features of price matching that helps people capture complexity, um, capture the knowledge they've got in their kind of general quoting person. But normally, Scott, who would do the quoting in a manufacturing house? We're talking 3D printers, laser cutters, CNCers. Uh, it can be anyone really, usually it's company owner, uh, engineer, someone quite high level with a lot of knowledge um, and quite often it's just one person, maybe one or two people. Yeah, so these people, they're, they're normally quite in demand in the company. Yep. They're normally quite high value, like you say, so they get paid normally yep. quite a lot. Um, there's a lot of costs associated with it, relying on that single person or two people to do those kinds of quotes. Um, but when you take on a digitized kind of quoting system like Digifabster, it's quite a daunting move to go from a human being all the way to a machine, especially with such a, 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 rely, a something you're so reliant, such which is costs, prices, which affect your business revenue. Yeah, yeah, it's it can be daunting. Uh, a lot of people think they're giving up the power of of, of quoting. Um, but what Digifabster aims to do is kind of take that knowledge of that high level person, uh, input it into our tool, and uh, and use that to create consistent um, automatic quoting. Uh, quoting prices. Absolutely, so. and how do you try and capture the knowledge that that person has had? Because that person's high value because they can quote, they can quote because they have the experience and knowledge. Yep. So there's a couple of ways. Um, so when a customer signs up to Digifabster, they have to initially set up their, their pricing. Um, and they can do that manually by inputting individual parameters. So there's some parameters here that we can see. Um, they can, um, if they know um, certain costs, for example, the price for the surface area or the price for the, the volume of the part, then, um, then they can input those manually. If they don't, um, quite often, it might be a spreadsheet that they're using to, to quote, um, which was created by someone 10, 15 years ago, and, and that yeah, person so is no longer there. Got? How many threads has it yeah. got? How many faces? Um, and um, uh, yeah, so what we've created now is the, is the price matching tool. Um, and what that does is it takes 10 models um, and the prices for those 10 models and it looks for correlations uh, between um, number of number of parameters and um, and the prices and and generates a kind of initial pricing structure for you okay so instead of having to go through all the manual options yep. you upload 10 components give yep. 10 prices and yep. say please match whatever the person that quoted these 10 prices uh, and try and get as close to them as possible. Now, how close can you really get to a, to a human's decision making? Uh, it's we we kind of have a saying in the company. You know, put um, good data in, you get good data out. Essentially, so um, if if your pricing is consistent when you're when you're doing it by human, um, then you should get good consistent pricing out of out of our our tool. Um, if your pricing is done by multiple people, then quite often what we find is that some of your pricing might be high, some of your pricing might be low. Um, quite often we can, we can get accurate to, on eight parts, but two of them might be, might be out slightly. And when we ask who, who quoted those, it might be that those two parts were quoted by someone else. Um, so you, you then start to see um, uh, gaps in, in, in how people are quoting. Um, so yeah, we can get pretty close. Um, generally we, we aim for within 10%, um, but um, yeah, it, 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 it's uh, very dependent on how good your, your initial data is. Absolutely, you can imagine if you've got a couple of different people quoting, maybe Digifabs will be more consistent for your customers. Yep. I mean, you've got less chance of upsetting them if they see they get quoted one thing and maybe someone they know got quoted something slightly different for a similar part, yep. just because two different people quoted it on different days. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of benefits to that. But what happens later down the line, um, you've price match, you've got the right pricing structure, but do things do change, material changes, requirements change, machines change. Um, we're gonna talk about price tweaking in another video. Make sure you check that out on the MTD CNC channel. Now, if people wanna get involved with Digifabs to find out more about it, how can they? Uh, so head over to digifabster.com forward slash quick start and you'll be taken straight into the price matching tool.